Hello and welcome to this solution video for week 11, 2021. Can you recreate the work of Hans Rosling? This is the visualization that I cha challenged you to recreate. So as you can see, we have the pages shelf and you have the life expectancy and income of all of these countries. You can then also highlight the individual regions of the world. So how do I go about doing this? Let's connect to our data. I'm going to connect to my income per person data set. So when I add that into my view, you'll see that I need to use data interpreter to bring back the, the headers of this data set. And then I'm just going to pivot my data so that I have a year and a income. So this is our year field and this is our income. And I'm just going to change this also to be a whole number. And now instead of adding a new data set, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my population total and it's going to automatically join on that country field or relate on that country field. But what I can do is I can close this down and I can also then pivot this data set. So I have the same fields as I do in the other one. So once this is done, I can then change this to year one. And this is our population. And again, I'm just going to make sure that this is a number so that it does allow you to relate in this relationship. So I'm now going to click back in, add more fields and do year to year as well. OK, great. So now what I can do is I can I can hide this and I can also hide this and then I can bring in my life expectancy and do the same again. Again, it's going to be on country until we have pivoted our data set. Add in year two, and then also this one is our population. Um, so sorry, this is life expectancy. And again, just change this to a whole number, and we can go back in and we can chain add our year to our relationship so we have that again we can hide our country and our year because we only need it from our first data set so we have all of our values that we want we now just need to add in our region so it's in our data geographies And again, all we need to do is we just need to bring that in so we can relate it to the country and just bring back that six region. So it's country to name, which brings back that relationship. And it's up to you which region that you use. I use the um, six regions um, for this particular example. So you can go through and hide these if you want to. So now we have our data set. It's a case of just building the view. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our country onto detail. We want our population onto size. We want to remove our latitude and longitudes because we don't need them right now. And then what we want to do is we want to have income. And we want um, 
life expectancy. And so I'm just going to switch those around so my income is at the bottom. And then finally, we want to add our year to our pages shelf. Um, and we want to filter out those null data sets. So let's filter out our null years. And then we want to make sure that this axis is logarithmic and we don't need it to start at zero. Okay, so we have this now, we can hide our indicator as well. So when we play it, it's just going to go through and move all of those circles. But we do only want it to go up to the current year and it goes up to 2040. So again, what we can do is we can create a up to current year filter and what we want to say is the year um, less than or equal to the year of today click ok and when we add that to the filters we can select true and it's only going to go up to the latest year of 2021 so you'll see it goes up to 2021 Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to add in our six regions. So I'm just going to create a, a calculated field and just call this region. And I'm going to replace those underscores. Replace the underscores with a space. And then I'm just going to upper this as well. And click OK. Now we have that, I'm just going to add that to colour so we can see all of our different colours and I'm just going to change it to a filled circle. You can play around with the opacity and you can play around with um, the colours as well. I used the hue colour palette so if I go into here and go to hue circle and assign the palette that's the one I used. Again, you can play around with the size until you're happy with that and the opacity. Let's bring that down a little bit and put a grey border on. So this is our main main visualisation. Now if I go into my dashboard, we have um, the dashboard size the same. But what we now want to do is when I add this to my view, I want the year to be in the background. So what I did here was I, let me just delete that again. I'm going to duplicate the sheet so it keeps all of those filters on. But I'm going to remove everything from my view. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add year to my label. So I'm going to hit command or control and add year in there and change it back to text. Okay, I'm going to fit it to entire view, I'm going to center my text and I'm going to increase the size and also increase the size of this. Okay, so um, let me just up that to 72. Okay, so we have our text and we can get rid of those tooltips but it doesn't really matter because it's going in the background anyway. I'm going to press shift and drag it onto my view, which is going to make it floating and it's going to bring it to the foreground. I'm going to hide my title and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to float this container over the top of it. So I'm going to press shift again and I'm going to make it line up up here. So and it disappears, but that's because we haven't took our background off of our sheet. So I'm going to make sure that this says none. And now we have our data in the background and you can finish off your formatting by showing your dashboard titles and moving your um, moving your pages shelf to here and creating that um, region filter. So let's just quickly do that. So we want um, region onto color, uh, region onto row columns, sorry and then also region onto label. 
fit entire view and then unshow the header. So now I'm just going to add that into that container that we have. Um, so because I made it floating already, I need to um, add in a container. So I'm just going to add this in there. And then now we have our sheets at the top. So our dashboard title is actually in the background. So I'm just going to now add it into this container that we have. So we can just call this hands puzzling. Click OK. You can change it how you see fit. And then finally, we have our dashboard actions. So if I go to dashboard and actions, we can add in a highlight action, which is from my uh, sheet three to my sheet one on region. Click OK and OK again. And now when I select that, it's just going to highlight that particular region. And if I press play, you'll see that this is now doing what we want it to do and going through how the income and life expectancy changes over the past several, um, thousands of years. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed uh, creating this workout. It's a fun one. Um, join us for next week's Workout Wednesday. Thank you.